is your story. We get a lot of questions of the, hey, I wrote the story. I don't know what genre it is. So I have to ask, you don't know what genre your story is? Then you should definitely panic. Thank you. That's today's episode of uh, Five Minute Focus. So clearly, I've been home alone way too long. What do you do? You got to take a look. What story is like your story? What books are like your book? And don't try to think that, well, mine's so unique that it's never been tried before. Every book has been tried before. Every story has been tried before. What makes your book unique is how you told that story. So look at what is kind of like yours and then dig further. <clears throat> Understand genre equals marketing. So don't subgenre yourself down into a place that you can't find any readers. What you want is the biggest audience who might like your book. So that's the genre your book is in. So some, it's straight, it's science fiction, the big one. That's what I shoot for, science fiction. The bigger the pie, the bigger the slice you can take from it. So <clears throat> now if you want science fiction, action adventure, well, with aliens who are green from Mars and they ride unicorns. What what's, what uh, genre is my book in? Stop it, stop it. Don't, don't put yourself into that hole because you can't get there from here. Trying to find those readers who like exactly that uh, now you're setting yourself up to fail or you're setting yourself up for a serious marketing challenge in finding those people uh, if they do indeed exist. Don't do that to yourself. Go for the biggest one. Look at the one element in your story that dominates. Is it that they ride unicorns? Is it that they're aliens? Is it that they're green? Is it that they're on Mars? What is your one element of the story that predominates? And there is going to be one. There, there will be supporting elements What's that one? And take a look and say, ah, that fits this genre, even though uh, they, they carry six shooters while riding their unicorns. That's fine. Still probably not a Western. Introduce unicorns. Uh, maybe you're talking urban fantasy. Maybe you're talking fantasy. Maybe you're talking fairy tale. Find a genre. <clears throat> and then here's what you can do. You can test it. Put it in. I put my first book out, uh, Free Trader, and or uh, my second book. And it was action adventure. It was a kind of a gamma world, post-apocalyptic in the future with some uh, Anne McCaffrey, uh, genetic dragons. I don't know dragons, but genetically engineered creatures. And uh, I put it out as that. And the first like five out of the first six reviews said, <clears throat> this is young adult. So eight months later, I took my six books that I had completed in that series and I targeted them and advertised very specifically at young adult. Guess what I made a fortune on after that? The young adult series, Free Trader. <clears throat> and, and adult readers read it because adult readers like YA because it's it's easier to read. It's a fast read. It usually doesn't have sex or swearing, and this doesn't. So perfect fit. So if you don't get it right on the first try, guess what? It's a book. You can you can always try different ways. So if you don't know, if you if you try things and you don't know what it is, call it erotica. Why would you do that? Well, because it's probably not. If it's not erotica, well, then it can. Not, it's not other things too. Process of elimination. Say it's not this. It's not a mystery. It's not this. It's okay. Let's narrow it down and then find the narrow but the biggest category that it fits in. That's how you determine your genre. And you can't just give somebody a book. Oh my God, that's the worst. Oh hey, you you write you write here. Here's a book. Can you read it and tell me what genre it is? No. You need to do that yourself. So find the element that predominates. Know what it is not. Oh, hey, I know it's not erotica. Okay, well, then what else isn't? Because you know. Dig in. Find the biggest one. John Wrinkles Marketing. Find the biggest, the biggest genre with the most readers that will most likely like your story. Then go after them. And if it doesn't work, Find different ones, especially once you get those reviews. This is why I read my reviews. That made me a lot of money because the reviews said I should put that in YA. I did win. Win. We all want to win. And you're only in competition against yourself. So this is something that you have to figure out. But as people read it, they'll help you figure it out. Oh, this was more like a, a horror, not just science fiction. Ah, okay. Well, let me try over there and, and go make it happen. As long as you've written a good book, you can do anything with it. Nothing is a kiss of death. Just keep plugging forward and uh, find where it belongs. 
All right, that's about it for today. You guys have a great day and 